Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got one system from the user Triton in Discord to uh, check out today. So it's called the uh, Cryone system. So without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So this one was on the workshop. I've already got it ready to uh, go in here. So if we just simply search it uh, like so. Yeah, let's see what he has uh, prepared for us today. So... All right, here we are. They're loading. Come on. I think it had a description, this one. So, right, here we go. Okay, read me. Awesome. Right, orbits, labels. Oh, this is looking pretty bizarre. Ooh, I'm liking the way this looks. Right. This system is taken, or is taken place in 2149. It is an unstable system that has been destroyed by the warriors of Hometown. They came here to shrink all planets in the system. If you are interested in looking at the different types of planets, you are um, allowed to roam around the system. Please do not press the play button since everything in the system isn't stable. Ooh, all right. By Triton. Right. Let's see here. This looks pretty nuts. There's two stars. Right. So the star, Cryon A. Okay, so we have a comet there. Okay, we don't need to head there then. Right. Cryon A1. First planet. Let's turn off the zones. Right. It has got a very, a very interesting ring system going on. Look at that. That's pretty crazy. So it looks like a planet's always been torn up around it and has all the remaining pieces. So there is Cryon A. Or Cryon 1, I should say. Right, so moving on. Right, next up we have got... Let me take it. Let's go Cryon A2. Right, next planet out. So here it is. Right, so a uh, pretty simple looking world. Um, rocky, just a little bit smaller than Earth. Around the size of Venus, I roughly estimate, a little smaller than that, maybe. So, yeah, that is Cryon 2 or A2. So, that's already quite a big jump from the star itself. Actually, what is the star stats? Let's have a look. So, brighter than the sun, 10 times as luminous. Okay. Right. Interesting stuff indeed. Next up, we've got Cryon A3 over here. So, another uh, gas giant. Nice shade of blue there with some white bands on it. Looking good. I'm liking it. Good stuff. Right, and now that has uh, Moon 1, 2, and 3. Let's have a little look. So they're all minor objects. And we have Moon 4, a larger moon. That looks quite cool. I like the colour scheming on that. Very nice indeed there. So Moon 4. And then we have a lot of uh, other minor moons further out. Moon 5. Yeah, okay, they all appear to be uh, asteroid moons by the looks of it. So uh, 7, 12, 9, 10. Yeah, they're, they're all the same. They're all just little asteroids. So there's those guys. Right, so next out from the blue orbit, we've got Cryon A4 now. We've got a good old rainbow object. Hey, check it out. So there it is. Band colours, there you go. So a few different shades of each colour in there as well, making quite a nice mix there. Looking good. So Cryon A4. Rainbow planet, no moons all by itself over there. So that's Cryon A4. Then we have A5 taking another jump. So we've got another rocky planet in the next orbit out. We've obviously got a lot of uh, crazy moon orbits going around them as well. Looking good. So there's one, two, three, four on all of those right where are we heading next so okay so that's okay so we've okay so now we've got the next star uh and we've got asteroid one asteroid two at really long orbits outside so now moving on to the last part of the system so we've got cryon b over here so comet two cryon b1 so we have a planet an earth like world by the looks of it as well so here it is so obviously it's a bit it's a land quite ocean heavy if we look on the stats 85 and 72 so decent stats it's got a, a little ring system as well very nice and then it also has a moon so a tiny little asteroid rock that's quite a cool view of the parent planet as well i quite like that i think if you just viewed if you put a shot like that with the star in there honestly i think that's quite a good shot i think i'd probably have to make that for the thumbnail or something because that is yeah that is a quite a cool shot oh just um i just went out of full screen mode there we go put that back in i, I pressed f11 instead of f12 there you go so screenshot it i mean it looks good i'll probably have to make it look a little cooler but yeah that's a, that's a nice shot i like that so cry and b and then it's moon right and then we'll go over here so cry and b2 right so it's not got an orbit around the star i wonder why that is so here it is oh i know why it's got a uh the trails all blacked out let's quickly fix that glitch that's really annoying there it is. There's the orbit. So it should be there. So nice green and black. I like that. That is a nicely designed green gas giant. Nice mix of different shades of green. Very nice. Therefore, a thumbs up. That's definitely my favorite gas giant in here. Straight up. So uh, there are the moons. And yeah, that appears to be all of them. And then we've got moon five green trail on here. This one looks quite interesting. Ooh, I like the way that looks. I do like that. And it has a uh, orbiter 
uh, Nesso Orbiter. So it's got a uh, little spacecraft as well. Good stuff. Yeah, I really like the way this moves design. I, like, I, I think that looks really good. So uh, underneath, so there it is. The uh, water appears to be... Yeah, so, okay, so it's got little blue patches of water there. A nice mix of green land on it. City lights um, as well uh, to boot with it as well. Cool. So there's Moon 5. Right, so there's all of those guys done. So that's all of Crying Beat. And then lastly, we've got the Interstellar Orbiter chilling out here. Uh, we did cry in A5, didn't we? And then, yeah, the asteroids. And, yeah, there you go. So, we'll get a lineup of the system, but I do want to press the play button. So, let's have a look at them all. So, yeah, green object, definitely my favorite gas giant. Really, really like the designing on it. Onto the rocky world. Honestly, I think that moon we were just at. I did like this object as well, with the, um, the ring system it had. Henry's planet. We didn't see that. Where was that located? How did I miss that? So, yeah, we didn't check Henry's planet out. So, here it is. So it's all frozen up, green atmosphere going on it as well. Looking good. Nice. And that has a Henry's Moon Norbit as well. I'm surprised I didn't spot those. I'm usually quite good with my spotting, so... Ah, that's pretty weird. So, right, well, at, least we, at least we checked it out now. That's the good thing of going into chart mode. You pick up stuff that you don't necessarily spot, so... Good thing we did that. And yeah, there's all of the uh, all of the other objects. Yeah, I really like I really like the way this object looked. And yeah, actually, speaking of the uh, Henry's uh, planet, I did quite like that one as well. I think that does look quite cool with the green and the white um, on it there. So yeah, there we go. That does it for this system. So before we finish off, he did say not to play it. So we're going to play it. So let's see what happens. So orbit modes are on play. Going to go really fast. We're going to see how quick everything comes unstable. So uh, delete the ring particles just so it runs faster. Right. So you can already see orbits are wobbling. That comet. Ooh, right. We can see asteroid orbits are getting... The interstellar spacecraft's on a crazy orbit. We can see stuff is really starting to fall apart. Hold it. Cryon A4 is having interactions with the gas giant. Ooh, dearie me. Right. So that's one of the other gas ones. So if we look here, any objects have had a collision. Some of the moons are smoking up by the looks of it. So let's, uh, let's run it for a while. See how crazy things will go. So that comet. Look at the comet's orbit. That is firing in hot. Look at that. So it comes down. As soon as it approaches a star, it speeds up ridiculously quick. And then launches back around. That is cool. But yeah, Cryon B and Cryon A5. They are not looking... Uh, they're having a bit of trouble going on there. The B star keeps trying to steal the planet from the A star. It looks like it's successfully done it as well. Sort of setting up a little binary. Uh, the green planet is fine. That's um, all chilling around Cry and B. Fine. So, yeah, the two stars seem to be the uh, breaking point of the system. It looks like the two stars don't get along very well and they keep trying to steal planets from each other. So, we can see Cry and A5 has almost been ejected out, being pulled away by the second star. So, everything around the second star is fine. And most of the planets around the A star are fine. I think everything further out than Henry's planet seems to be affected more. So, A4 and then A5. They Those two seem to be broken. Um, and yeah, torn away from their orbits. But yeah, everything Henry's planet inward seems to be all right. The comet orbit still chilling there. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it, it runs. I mean, it is a bit unstable, like you said, but it does run. So here yeah, they go. We can see that B star is definitely trying to have a pick at some of the A star planets. So yeah, there we go. There's just a little rougher. Uh, what happens if you run it? We can't go any faster. So that's the fastest it will run. So I'm sure if I left it going for a while, it probably would break some more objects out. But yeah, we're just gonna uh, we're gonna finish off there. Or I want to see A3. A3 is having quite an effect actually there. But yeah, we're gonna finish off there. So yeah, that does it for today's system, guys. We can see A4 has been completely stolen by the B star now. So not good. But yeah, there we go. So massive thank you to the user Triton. He's just called Triton um, on Discord for sending this in. So massive thank you to him. Yeah, I liked it. Nice, short and sweet system. I like the unstable part because not many people send in unstable systems and stuff. So yeah, nice idea. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys did in the comments as well. So yeah, let us know your feedback down below in the comments. I'm sure he'll be interested to hear your feedback for this system. And yeah, if that all said and done, guys, let's see if we go for 40 likes on today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to yeah, press that like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. Helps on the journey to uh, 20,000 subscribers, guys. And yeah, make sure you'll stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.